Welcome back. So, you wanted a tutorial. One person asked for one, so you're getting one. So, how to backflip. I've got a few things written down. First thing would be getting over fear. You don't want to be doing backflip with fear because that just ends badly. Landing on your neck, not committing. You've got to commit no matter what. So, get rid of fear is the first step. One thing that helped me would be I had a block behind my back when I was first learning on the floor. So, when I did practice the tuck and everything, I had that to fall back on. I'll put a video up now because I don't have anything with me. Another one being trampolining. If you have a trampoline in your garden, you can practice on that. It's probably one of the safest ways you can learn how to backflip. Going around the side. This one never really helped me because I was going around the side anyway because I didn't want to go over my head. Well, you can start like this, hand down, kick straight over the top. You can go from standing, looking over your shoulder. And then you can add two hands. Slowly make your way around more over the top. Get used to it. Get used to going over your head. A spotter. So having someone else behind you holding your back. That's another one that helped me as well. I had Matt holding my back when I first learned on floor. He just helped me get around. I put another video of that. And another one, don't overthink it. It's an easy trick. Once you learn it, you realise it's the worst one ever. No one wants to do backflips anymore. If you, if you think you can do it, you know the technique, just commit to it. No matter what. Just hold on. Stick with it. And you're going to get round. Even if it's not to your feet, you'll land not on your neck at least because you committed to it how to backflip then so most importantly your set you want to have your legs just about apart on your toes you're gonna to come all the way back here that's where you're gonna get all the swing from and arms up as much as they can go so stretch it out I still struggle with that one because I'm like this sometimes stretching out that's gonna get you all the height looking forwards that's another one so you can practice that with just the jump start off with so arms forward back looking forwards as high as you can go next I want you to do the same again but then bring your knees up to your chest don't go down knees up to your chest so looking forwards arms back forwards knees up to yourself and you already kind of feel like you're gonna go back but keep your head up no flip yet so after you've done that I want you to do the same again but then grab your knees no flip nothing still looking forwards grab your knees back see if you can slap them slap your knees I want to hear the slapping sounds that's the most important technique that you need to know. It's just about committing to it now. Obviously, if you have a spotter, if you have a trampoline, if you have a block behind you, that's all gonna help. So practice with those first before you come onto the floor. Don't let go. Don't think, oh, I might not get around. I'm gonna let go. You will get around. <laughs> Do not let go. The worst scenario that will happen is when you don't commit to it. If you commit to it, you'll be all right. It'll hurt, but you'll be able to get up and try again. I've had times where I landed on my neck just because I stopped midway through and you don't, you don't want to do that. So this is putting it together, committing to it, grabbing your knees, land the backflip. You got it. I really should have warmed up. <laughs> that bike ride was all I did to warm up. Last thing, last thing, getting height. To get the most height you can, arms up. I'm not very good at it. I'm not the best example. I put better examples like Carl Skelly, probably the best back flipper I know. <laughs> head forwards, arms up, riding that up as high as you can go. Don't throw your head back like me. I throw my head back a little bit. You can throw your head back like a little bit, but if you're relying on that head throw, it's gonna look like a layout or something like that and you don't want to be doing a layout the first time you're learning a backflip. Let me know if you want any more tutorials from me. If, if that's what you want, leave a like, subscribe and thank you. I hope you land your backflips. I don't want to hear anyone landing on their neck and blaming me. <laughs> don't, don't take everything I say uh, to heart. Listen to other people, listen to other tutorials and see you next time. Oh, you thought you could just leave her? Huh? No. So Kojo has a tutorial website, KTL, Kojo's Trick Lab. It's probably got the most tricking tutorials out there. I wouldn't recommend it. He's not paying me to say this, but I'll, I'll make him pay me. That's, don't worry, don't worry. So KTL, I'll put it in the description for you. If you want to learn how to trick, that's the best place to learn it. So I'll see you again later.